One of the uh, big influences uh, in the folk music back in those days was a man named Mike Seeger, Pete Seeger's younger brother or half brother. And uh, their dad had a, a lady who lived at their house who was basically their housekeeper. Uh, down in Washington, D.C., and her name was Libba Cotton, uh, Elizabeth Cotton. And she had some uh, island influences in her whole approach, as, of course, many of, of the folks did in those days, coming up from uh, Barbados and Jamaica. And uh, so she was working as a, what they would call a domestic in Washington, D.C. And one day, uh, Mike Seeger heard, heard this. Of course, it's freight train, Libba's tune. And that was the tune to really enter into that folk music scene. You had to learn how to play freight train. And at the same time, there was a, a, a pop hit, a, a, a woman from England named Nancy Whiskey, which was also a name of a folk song. And she, uh, she had a hit, and she was, her thing was, you know, freight train, freight train. But uh, we, we, those of us seeking the authenticity of the, the tradition, you know, we studied Libba Cotton's picking. And, and it inspired me to write a tune in Cambridge some years later when I was playing on the streets. And the jazz musicians in Cambridge, of course, had the best smoke, you know. And uh, <laughs> somebody had handed me something called Panama Red. And uh, so I took some of Libba's tune and, and wrote my own song. I'll, I'll try and I'll play it in sort of in sequence here. So here's Freight Train. <laughs> Woman's up in bed with old Panama Red. 